Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I want to do the good old hospital bag video. I'm currently actually 35 weeks pregnant today. We were recently talking about hospital bags the other day with my sister and my friend and I was like, what did I pack with Theo? I couldn't remember, made a video, went back and watched it and I was like, oh dear God, Victoria. But the thing I will say, if you're a first time mom or if you like have anxiety or you stress about this sort of stuff, pack what you want. Like. It does not matter if you show up with a suitcase. I took a full on carry on, my backpack, all sorts of stuff to the hospital last time. Um, but looking back, I used like a fraction of it because I labored at home as long as I like wanted to. And so when I got to the hospital, I was six centimeters dilated and in no place to like use anything I brought. <laughs> I was just laboring. My goal this time is to pack everything into this backpack. And I think I'm gonna be able to do that. Obviously, I'm gonna bring like a few things that won't fit in there, which we'll get into. My, what I packed in my hospital bag video with Theo. And then I filmed one once he was here of like what I actually used. And so I looked at that one as well. And I kind of made a list from that. And I kind of thought through, okay, what are you actually gonna need this time, Victoria? And I'm just like, the hospital gives you so much stuff and they just take such good care of you that you really don't need to bring much of anything. There's a few things that I don't have with me right now, but I'm gonna bring along. Obviously a phone charger. I have a little portable phone charger as well because sometimes the outlets are far away. And if you wanna just like sit in your bed and charge your phone. So those two things. I brought all sorts of snacks with Theo and I literally, I don't think I ate any of them. The hospital provides you with meals and then also you have your partner or your parents or whoever bring you meals. Obviously that's slightly different in the time of coronavirus and I fully expect COVID to like be a thing when this baby comes. I'm anticipating not having any hospital visitors, which I'm actually kind of excited about because you're exhausted. We kept it so minimal to the people we invited to the hospital, like a handful of people, and it was still overwhelming. So I'm looking forward to just having that time in the hospital to rest and recuperate. And we're gonna be even more limited on who we invite to meet the baby once they're here because of coronavirus. The whole like newborn visitor thing is gonna be so much easier this time around. Even though like I'm so grateful that people wanna meet my baby, all that good stuff, blah, 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 but you're just exhausted. It's especially for first time moms, it's overwhelming. I'm not gonna bring snacks. I'm gonna throw in two just in case Luna protein bars, cause you never know. You never know. I will say, let's back up. I pulled things out to film today's video, but they're like, all of my toiletries are gonna be last minute packs. So there's certain things that you can pack ahead of time because you're not gonna use until labor or until the baby gets here. Most of the stuff you're gonna need are things that you use every single day anyways. I have like a hospital bag labor pack. So these are the things that where I'm like, okay, I'm in labor. I need something to do to occupy myself. Let's go pack the hospital bag. I'm gonna go through this and I've written where each thing is. So it's like portable charger. That's like currently in the kitchen. I'll change it if it goes back where it belongs. Nail files in the bathroom. Toothbrush, toothpaste in the bathroom. So I know exactly where it is. Or if Michael needs to pack my bag for me, he can look at this list and pack it. So most of this is not like currently packed stuff. The stuff I currently have packed is what's in this packing cube and I'll probably leave those Luna bars in there. So in this packing cube, I brought way too much stuff for Theo last time. Your baby is gonna be in a diaper and a swaddle the whole time. It does not need anything. You just need something to take your baby home in. So clothes and then a blanket um, if it's like cold out. One blanket, they won't let you take the hospital swaddles with you. So just something to put over him in his car seat, him or her. I'm thinking of Theo, but I don't know what this baby is. And then I have two sleepers. Yeah, one of them's newborn and one of them's zero to three months, but I think honestly they're kind of the same size. Oh my God, look how little it is. I can't, you guys. <laughs> Theo was not a big toddler, but Jesus, this looks tiny. Two onesies, obviously you only need one, but I think these are, yeah, these are two different sizes. Theo was eight pounds, six ounces. So I don't expect to have like a huge baby or a tiny baby, just a normal size baby. So I have a newborn one and a zero to three month one, and I probably will only put them in an outfit when we're leaving the hospital. I also don't expect to stay at the hospital as long this time because we already have Theo at home 
And because I don't wanna be like hanging out in the hospital with COVID, it's just very helpful to have all of that help and people also taking care of you because who's taking care of you once you get home? Yourself, and it's just, it's exhausting. For me, I am bringing my trusty bathrobe. I got this like right before I had Theo. It's in my hospital bag video with him. I love this thing. It's just, it's almost like a cardigan. It's very thin, very lightweight, but also it ties. So I can be completely naked under here if I want to. I can have a nursing bra. I had a bra and like sweatpants on and this, and that's what I wore most of my hospital stay. I didn't bring a, like a good shirt last time, which is surprising with how much stuff I brought. And I don't feel like I brought that much, but I did. I'm bringing one shirt. I may pack another like loose fitted one I haven't decided yet, but honestly, you don't really wear clothes when you're there. So I have a nursing tank, pretty self-explanatory. I have a nursing bra, also self-explanatory. I anticipate to be like in either the bra or the tank and my uh, bathrobe. And then I have a nursing sweatshirt. So I'm giving birth in February. It's a bit chilly, so I expect it. I'm always cold. So this is one of those where it just like Where's the flap? It just lifts up. So I could wear this and the nursing bra or the nursing tank um, or my bathrobe, depending on what I'm feeling. I thought about bringing my pajamas, but then it's like, honestly, once I give birth, I change into an outfit after my shower and that's what I wear the whole time. A warm pair of socks and one pair of underwear. I brought like six pairs of underwear last time. I didn't wear my own underwear, I should say. I wore the mesh underwear that the hospital provides you with the big diaper pad. This is just like, just in case I wanna wear my own pair of underwear going home, but I won't. I won't. I'll be wearing the mesh underwear for the two weeks after birth. Pants wise, these are last minute packs, but a pair of just like loose, comfy sweatpants, but you don't want them to be like too clingy or see-through. I remember the pair of sweatpants that I brought to the hospital with me with Theo. Michael's like, Victoria, you can see, you can see your diaper pad through that. Not that I cared, but then like I'd be conscious of that when we had visitors. I wasn't like, hey, not that I care. <laughs> um, but these aren't see-through. Um, but yes, one thing I remember about postpartum, like when your belly's like squishy and morphing back into place, is like if you wear tight waistbands, it like creates a divot in your stomach and that freaked me out. So I also have a pair of just leggings in case I want to just like have that like support, like hold it all in place, last minute packs. Moving right along, let's put it all in the bag just to prove to you that it's all gonna go in here. So there's that. I'm gonna bring one of these pillows. I don't know which one, but the hospital has pillows and blankets, all that sort of stuff. I just like having your own pillow is just nice. When we go to like hotels and stuff, we travel with our own pillows. So I'll bring a pillow and that will be like my high maintenance thing. I'm gonna bring the boppy again. This actually wasn't my favorite thing breastfeeding wise because it doesn't lift the baby up close enough to your boob. At least for me, I have little boobies. Couch pillows or bed pillows around you. So what you end up doing is taking, you know, propping yourself up comfortable in the hospital bed and then taking pillows and propping the boppy up. And then this is like pretty perfect to slap them on the boob for just visual effect. Um, I sleep with the sleep mask every night as it is, but at the hospital, like they're coming in and out, they're checking on you. There's just lights and all that sort of stuff. So. I'm gonna be bringing this and I remember having it last time. I just, I just always have a sleep mask, like whether I travel or I'm at home. I like the like pressure on my eyes. It's weird, but all I'm, she's going in here. Shoes wise, I know people bring like slippers. I thought about my slippers, but really I'm just gonna wear like socks and my slip on sandals you're just like so tender and you just want to wear whatever is most comfortable and easiest for you i know it's february but i'm gonna be wearing these and i will literally wear these to the hospital with socks on in the hospital with socks on and home with so socks on so i have the knit pair of socks in there but i'll probably like wear another pair of socks like these to the hospital so I'm gonna be wearing them so technically they don't really need to fit in here, but they could. And then toiletries, I think is like the last category I have. A few important things you wanna remember, like if you're gonna bring 
anything. These are just the most important things. Chapstick, you always hear people like, just from like labor and stuff and all the heavy breathing, your lips get dried out and it's winter anyways. Chapstick. Nail file. This might not seem important to you, but I nick and like break my nails all the time and then it drives me insane until I'm able to like trim them or file them which I probably will somehow nick my nail in like labor or afterwards in the hospital. It doesn't take up that much room. Just have a nail file. And then lotion, like it's winter once again, but also you just get like so dry. And sometimes it's nice to just like take a shower, do your skincare and put some lotion on your body. Like it's been through it, take care of it. This is all last minute packs. I'm not gonna put any lotion on my boobies cause the baby's face is gonna be up in it. So there's those things. Before I get into skincare, deodorant, Pregnancy and postpartum, you just smell. If you feel smelly or gross, it's just like you don't feel good. So it's always nice like taking a shower and then be able to do like some skincare, brush your teeth, put on some deodorant and all that. So for skincare, I'm just bringing a few things, what are four things. So I'm bringing a face cleanser, hydrating mist, a moisturizing cream, and an oil. I just have really dry skin in the winter and I just like, it makes me feel so much better just to have like clean moisturized skin. So I'm gonna bring all of these things. I love pouches within pouches, you'll see. Obviously toothbrush, toothpaste, hair ties and bobby pins, dry shampoo. I actually did wear a little bit of makeup last time after giving birth to Theo while I was in hospital. It's completely up to you. Some people like a little bit of makeup. Some people like could care less. We're not gonna have any visitors, so it doesn't matter, but it's like, what's gonna make you feel the best? So if you can shower, do your skincare, and then put on like a little bit of blush and that's gonna make you happy, do it. An eyebrow pencil, an eyebrow gel, blush, concealer, and mascara. I might not wear it, I might wear it, who knows, maybe I'll wanna wear a little bit when I come home. You know, you just take pictures when you're in the hospital. And like, not that it matters, but some people just like, you just want to like have a little something to help because you're just so swollen and just puffy. I remember that, I look back at pictures and it's just like, oof. Not like, I am i don't care because of how I look, I just, it, I remember back to like, I just felt so puffy and exhausted and my body was sore. So those are my toiletry items. So those will all fit into my trusty blue toiletries bag. That's it. Last time I brought like my laptop and I don't know what I thought I was gonna do, but it's just like, oh no. If you're like bored or whatever, you can like watch YouTube on your phone or scroll through social media on your phone or sleep. Just, you're, just sleep when you're in the hospital. Like I said, it all fits in here. If you haven't already, watch my like hospital bag video with Theo just to get a good laugh. The hospital literally has everything you need for the baby. You just need something to put them in to go home and like a blanket if it's cold and a car seat. That's another thing we're bringing, obviously a car seat. I thought I heard Theo again. <laughs> but we're gonna bring obviously the car seat. Visual sake, let's put on my back. My sandals, which are gonna go on my feet and then my bobby pillow and my pillow. But honestly, when you get to, when we got to the hospital with Theo, I didn't bring anything with me. It all stayed in the car. I don't know when Michael went and brought it up. He doesn't even remember when he brought stuff up, but he did. I'll put a picture right here of our trolley leaving the hospital. It was a lot of stuff. And Michael's gonna pack his own stuff because I don't care what he brings. And that is what I'm taking to the hospital with baby number two. You live and you learn, guys. But honestly, Take whatever you want. Whatever is gonna make labor and birth easiest for you. Oh, I also forgot, I'm bringing headphones. I can't remember if I said that, those are in here somewhere. I'm bringing headphones. I'm gonna try really hard this time to listen to like music and meditation. Um, and just really zen out and relax during this labor. But I'll probably already be doing that at home as well. Anyways, I'm gonna stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below some of your essential items for your hospital bag and things that you maybe took the first time that you didn't take the second time and all that good stuff. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.